good morning what is going on welcome to the channel thank you for taking time to join me always my name is Deborah. this is Prusha intuitive and we're going to be looking at the energy for today so let's get into it I hope that things are going well in your world when I am recording this we just entered Virgo season which is nice we're seeing some of the tension and strain lesson in the astrology, which is also welcomed, <laughs> right? We need a little, little love, little TLC for some of the challenges that have been happening right now. We're starting to see things a little more clearly, which again is a blessing. Um, these messages as a side note are always timeless. Take what resonates, use your discernment obviously, and leave the rest behind. I also do um, personal readings, or, or, uh, wellness consultations, energy healing. If you want me to look at your specific situation or you just need a little mind, body, soul healing, definitely hit me up. All that info is in the description box below. So Mercury is going direct today, thank goodness. <laughs> It's going to help us feel a little bit more grounded. We're going to have more direction moving forward. Virgo season is very nice because it also contributes that earth energy. It contributes to the grounding and the support and the stability that we need. Again, it feels very affirming, especially after Leo season where everything is intense and wound up. <laughs> we need to kind of come back down to earth, right? So we'll start with this energy cleansing. I'll do a little blessing for you. We'll cleanse out any negative, unwanted energy that's in our way right now. Set the tone, set the vibe for the reading. You can also set your own intention as well. If you would like to hear specific messages from spirit or you have questions that you would like answer, definitely give those over and be open to receive and we'll get going. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure loving grace. I release anything that is not for the highest and best. Fear, doubt, insecurities, lack of worth, lack of value, anger, frustration, limitation, Help us to understand and see those messages, the learning lessons clearly, so we have better direction moving forward. Help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Okay. So, yes, I like the astrology. It's getting a little bit easier, a little bit easier. New chapter and neutral popped up. So we have been waiting for a long time <laughs> for this newness to take place. It has been this hurry up and wait type energy where we get a little bit of um, movement. We get excited. We see things happening and then we got to stop and reevaluate and reassess. And like I said, the earth element is very supportive for things like that because it keeps us, it keeps our feet on the ground, you know? It helps us not get too ahead of ourselves. Virgo energy is also about health and wellness. It rules the sixth house and we need to be spending more time, more energy investing in our self-love, self-care, especially right now because we are um, setting the stage. We're setting the stage for what is coming, what is coming to head. There has been a lot of focus on self. We also got this message yesterday. So looking at yourself, being able to assess in an honest and authentic way. And all that's doing is really helping yourself, right? It's helping you, it's helping you make better decisions for what you actually want, what is actually in alignment. Not just making a decision because it seems right in the moment. 
step by step. I love that energy. It's so true. Not always the funnest energy, right? Because we do have to be a little bit more patient. We live in an instant gratification culture <laughs> nowadays. We're used to getting everything instantaneously. So things like this, energies like this, times like this, where we actually have to be a little bit more patient with the process it is annoying, it's frustrating, but it is cultivating lasting change. We got this uh, party time in um, the weekly reading as well, making sure that we're not overindulging right now. And I'm not just saying partying, but any type of behavior or thing that is more distracting. Spirit really wants us to stay focused <laughs> on what's in front of us and making sure that we're not letting go of the reins, especially if you do feel like nothing's happening or, you know, like things are taking too long and you're like, screw it, I'm just going to go out and do this, you know, or I'm not going to pay attention to this anymore because it's too much. Be really conscious, really mindful of that. Not that you can't have fun or a good time today, but maybe today is not the best day to do it. Maybe today is about focusing on your abundance, building your wealth, building what you upon what you already have going. Spirit's asking for some compassion as well. We've also been getting this message lately too, where it's not just compassion for others, but for ourselves, I hear that we have to have that compassion for ourselves first before we can give that to others. Because there are tricky situations, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, places that we had the best intention, but there wasn't a lot of follow through. So now we have to reevaluate those things like I was saying earlier. We have to look at things through a different perspective. I'm hearing you weren't giving yourself enough compassion, being too hard on yourself, or having incredibly high expectations that really just weren't in alignment with the reality of what was going on. And I do feel like it ended up putting you in this space of like, avoidance, avoiding what needed your time and attention, distraction mechanisms are what I'm hearing, finding <laughs> something to do, everything else that you have to do aside from what you actually have to do. And that's definitely what the Son of Wands, Knight of Wands is all about, right? He's like on to the next best thing thinks that he can do it all. When in reality, we have responsibilities, right? We have to find better balance between work and play. Ew, ew. Seven of Swords and Plenty. Let's, let's look at that. Seven of Swords is a sneaky energy. Let's look into this a little bit more. Because there is more of a... self-focus today like we talked about you're seeing something from a different perspective it's forcing you to slow down a little bit new beginnings ace of cups new beginnings in love someone something does have an offer for you but it's very small or it starts off small I do feel like there is a lot of potential behind it. Mm, yeah. But you have to, again, make sure that it is in alignment with you. Because with this Seven of Swords, I just feel like someone's hiding. Someone's not um, divulging what they have going on or... They're hiding money, hiding finances, hiding abundance, limitation.
this also could be that you, yeah, Father of Cups, this could also be that like you're feeling lack mentality. You're not seeing the abundance, the blessings that are in place. Maybe it's making you really emotional. Or I'm also seeing that someone has an offer for you. They might be hiding um, kind of the abundance or like maybe they're hiding how much they have or there's something that they're it, like, I do feel like you are going to share in this pot. <laughs> so to speak, I want to say like jackpot or this wealth or this abundance. I do feel like you will be a part of this, but it's not being revealed right now. I feel like this father of cups is coming in to bring an offer your way. It is something that they feel will be very successful. I feel like for both of you, but there's also, I don't know, they see, they see something in you that they want. They, um, they want to connect with your, your wisdom, your smarts. Maybe you have specialty in a certain field, career, hobby, etc. You're not really seeing this come in because you have a lot going on. You have a lot on your plate. And I feel like this kind of comes out of left field, this offer. But yeah, it's bringing a lot of wealth. It's bringing a lot of abundance with it. It might, like I said, start off small. That's what I'm hearing because I don't think the... Um, the amount of like success or like you're like, yeah, that's the right thing or that's going to make it. That's going to be what like helps me make it <laughs> type. Of, that's the vibe that it has. But you don't necessarily see that on the surface level. Yeah, because you are doing your own thing. You know, you're kind of caught in your own world. You're protecting what you've built. Again, maybe not necessarily seeing all the places that you have grown and evolved. Spirit wants us to pay attention to that today. And I feel like sometimes when we do distract, it ends up like we don't, then we don't see how much work we've done or we're so hard on ourselves because we're not getting other things done because we're schluffing off, <laughs> so to speak, right? We're not putting time and attention towards what we need to. Spirit's asking you to be a little bit more cognizant of that. Giving yourself the benefit of the doubt. This has all been in preparation for this offer coming in. And I do think it's very beautiful. This is someone, something that you're going to connect to on a deeper level. It feels really exciting. It is bringing in complete change. This is something that you have worked for. I'm hearing root chakra energy, so it's going to help make you feel more grounded and stable in your own life, like we were talking about in the very beginning. I love when readings come full circle, right? And there is abundance attached to it. There is wealth. There is prosperity. Like I said, you don't necessarily see this coming because you're busy over here doing something else. But I feel like there is a lot of beauty, a lot of success in this offer. Someone who understands you. Someone who is, yeah, grounded. Thank you. <laughs> Double confirmation. Someone who is here to help you, to work with you and help you. And it feels like a breath of fresh air. I feel like it's coming after a time where you haven't really had that reciprocity. Or it's been a, uh, a fight to feel like people are working with you, that they're on your team, on your side. I feel like you've been doing a lot of things alone and now you're getting 
a breath of fresh air. I love it. I hope you found messages that resonated here for you. Thank you for your time and energy always. I super appreciate you. Definitely drop comments below if you did. I'd love to hear or just connect with you. Share a little love, a little blessing. Thank you for your time and energy always. Your love and support to the channel. I am sending that back your way.